Hey guys, I'm Austin Smith and welcome to Wanderlust. Right now I'm standing in Sabino Canyon Dam on the south side of the Santa Catalina Mountains just north of Tucson, Arizona. Today we're going to be exploring nearby Bear Canyon and the amazing Seven Falls. Tucson, the second largest city in Arizona, is surrounded by mountains. To the north of the largest of the ranges, the Santa Catalinas, which rise to over 9,000 feet in elevation. In the Catalina foothills just north of Tucson are a series of canyons formed by flows of water that spill down from the mountains during periods of heavy rainfall. Sabino Canyon and neighboring Bear Canyon are both part of the Coronado National Forest. The canyons were used by Native Americans for centuries as a source of water within the desert and more recently have become popular recreation areas for Tucson citizens since the 19th century. A visitor center today provides information about the environment and history of the canyons. The hike through Bear Canyon from the beginning of the trail to the series of tiered waterfalls known as Seven Falls is about four miles, making an eight mile journey around trip. To access Bear Canyon, visitors have the option to utilize the tram service which takes you two miles to the Bear Canyon Trail, or you can hike the entirety of the trail from the parking lot through the beautiful Sonoran Desert landscape covered in a variety of cactus and unique wildlife. On the way to Bear Canyon, hikers cross Sabino Creek at the lower end of Sabino Canyon that flows from Sabino Dam a structure built by the Works Progress Administration during the 1930s. The Sonoran Desert in which Bear Canyon is found stretches from northwest Mexico across most of southern and central Arizona and a portion of southeastern California. Temperatures range from extreme heat, especially in the summer months when temperatures reach past 110 degrees, to sometimes chilly night temperatures. The Santa Catalina Mountains are a sky island within the Sonoran Desert that feature desert ecosystems at its base that give way to more lush environments of woodlands and pine forest, as well as cooler temperatures as the elevation rises. Bear Canyon's stretch in the desert portion of this mountain range accumulates water from rainfall on the mountains during the year. The desert receives two rainy seasons, the first occurs during the winter months, with gentle rains coming in from the Pacific Ocean. The second, the monsoon season, from mid-June through mid-September, brings heavy rainstorms from the Gulf of Mexico. Monsoons during this time fill Bear Canyon with water that sustains the lush repairing environment of shady cottonwood, walnut, sycamore, willow, and ash trees that ribbon their way through the desert landscape. A variety of wildlife can be found utilizing the water. Large mammals like javelina, coyote, mule deer, and mountain lion traverse the canyon. Black bears, from which the canyon obtained its name, inhabit higher elevations of the mountain and they occasionally wander down. Reptiles abound as desert tortoise and several species of lizards and snakes make their home within the canyon. A diverse array of birds voice their presence, some of which rely upon the trees and water of the stream for their survival. Colorful wildflowers can often be seen blooming, and wetland grasses and plants otherwise absent from the desert grow along the banks of the flowing water. Below the surface of the water is a soft, sandy bottom with scatterings of smooth Guinness rock. Amphibians find a rare oasis in the desert here, and frogs hop about in abundance during the monsoon months, coming alive from their dormant state during the longer dry periods. Frogs mate in late summer laying eggs that hatch into tadpoles that can be seen swimming about in the pools. Gray Canyon tree frogs appear in large numbers during the monsoon months, 
blending into the rocks along the water's edge. A hike through Bear Canyon during the wet seasons offers several tranquil scenes of flowing water through the Rocky Canyon Center, shady trees and flowering plants digging their roots into the moist soil. The trail stays fairly level until near the end when steeper elevation changes occur. From these vantage points higher in the canyon, one can look back to the south where Tucson can be seen in the distance. After traveling a bit further, hikers finally come into view of the magnificent tiered waterfalls of Seven Falls. Well, after just four miles in on Bear Canyon, we're here at Seven Falls. Waterfalls can be used to cool off in, and hikers can sit alongside the water's edge to picnic or relax before the trek back out of the canyon. If you plan to visit Bear Canyon, remember to always carry plenty of water in the desert heat and use sunscreen to protect yourself from harmful amounts of exposure to the sun. While the canyon is a great place to visit during the monsoon season when the water levels are high, be careful not to go right before a storm as heavy rainfall can rapidly fill the canyon with large amounts of rushing water unexpectedly. A number of hikers have been swept away to their deaths because of this. Mountain lions also prowl within the canyon, and although attacks on people are very rare, be sure to remain aware of your surroundings. If you should encounter a mountain lion, don't run, but maintain eye contact and make yourself look as big as possible. To reach Bear Canyon and the Sabino Canyon Recreation Area from Tucson, go north from the intersection of Sabino Canyon Road and Sunrise Drive on the northeast side. The parking lot and visitor center are just to the right. Entrance fees are $5 per car per day, or $20 for an annual pass. For specific trail directions and further details about the hike, check out the link I have provided in the description below. If you enjoyed this episode of Wanderlust, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to join me on future adventures. You can also check out another episode of Wanderlust right here, where I travel to Sentinel Peak in Tucson, Arizona, and discuss the mountain's history and influence upon the city. Thanks for watching.